all right guys so this is a video showing you how to adjust camber on w211 cars 209 uh, cars like e320 cdis e550s e500s e55 amgs e63s cls 550 cls 500 cls 63s and other models only the rear wheel drive models equipped with similar suspension as this one so this is the torque arm this is the lower control arm so from the factory uh, the lower control arms comes with no adjustment bolts that you can make to the camber however what you can do you can remove these bolts and buy a kit that mercedes sells you or you can buy this let's say on ft bureau this is the part number for it and uh, what it comes with it comes with washers and nuts and it comes with this bolt right here and what you can do is as you can see in the middle there is grooves and uh, from the factory that that bolt only goes to the middle it will not go on the left and it will not go on the right but this bolt will go let's say you want one degree of camber more you go this side you can see you want less degree you go on the other side or the other way around and you can also do that on the, th on the thrust arms or torque arms and you can play with that but from the factory it's left in the middle that's what i'm going to do with it and leave it like that that's pretty much it how to adjust camber uh, and as far as the rear wheel drive so as far as the rear goes there's nothing you can do about the rear however there's a aftermarket company that sells a adjustable uh uh, camber arm that you can adjust from the from here and it's kind of a pain in the ass but that's the only options you have uh, in order to basically uh, zero out the camera because once you drop the car uh, the camera will go crazy and look at my tires so I gotta fix the camera and uh, it will hopefully not eat on my tires as much thank you guys